Okay, Jason, this is a beast of a car. Be careful. You hear this? Hi, my name is Jason Woods, and welcome to Chasing the Apex. Behind me, I have a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat, and uh, you're not going to want to miss this. It's an absolute. So, like, you guys scream for this. You're like, Jason, if you love the Challenger in its SXT six cylinder form, you are going to kill for the SRT. Hellcat form and here I am you know doing the unimaginable something that I would have never predicted you know just a few months later here we are in that exact car that you guys wanted to see so you guys can thank Chris again for this um, because without the supporters we have none of this would ever happen and we'd never have the opportunity to bring you that content so just at a glance right we're looking at approximately 717 horsepower 615 foot pounds of torque if you have the red key or you're using the red key. Now, if you think it comes with two keys, right? There's a black key, right? And it kind of detunes it to about 500. But 500, even that is plenty. But, you know, I'm Jason and this is Chase the Apex. So, you know what key we're going to use, right? I mean, we just must. So, some initial impressions are the fit and finish is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's like superbly comfortable but it's not overbearingly luxurious what it is though is it feels like it's ready to go every bit of it feels like it's ready to run so it's got paddle shifters and everybody knows i like and dislike paddle shifters all at the same time right so i appreciate them for what they are everybody knows i prefer a manual it's not a secret at this point guys right all right but we're going to go ahead and engage with paddle shifters you know, just for this pull. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a high speed pull here. Just to give, you know, we're gonna do it because I'm a child. That's what we're gonna do here. And I'll just be honest, I'm, a, I'm an absolute child, right? I mean, I must do a high speed pull. Holy God! Super intense. I gotta do it again. I, I gotta do it again. I mean, there's that's intense. Wow. I mean, and thus far, I mean, really, we, we've driven we've driven some high horsepower cars at this point, but that 717 horsepower is my goodness. That's nothing to be toyed with. That's a significant amount of power and it's pushed across really really well so it's handling it there, you, you don't feel the train twist and tweak and become a pretzel it really just kind of absorbs it superbly Jimmy God I gotta tell you Dodge is making me a liar this thing is absolutely phenomenal and I remember thinking the SXT was good. And I remember thinking it was like, holy crud, this is like a really amazing handling car. But no, this is, this is spectacular. Wow. So if I was on some big open roads with like no traffic, like, and they were very straight, I gotta be honest, I think that um, I would be trying to break land speed records for this thing. So we already know, this is complete with the Brembo Bank package. I mean, these things are huge. And so I think we're gonna get in here and we're gonna have a really good time. And let's see, I mean, cause that's really the case, right? American muscle cars are not famous for handling well. And generally I'm not a believer. I mean, you know, I have my own misconceptions of this. I have my own thought that, you know, because I've experienced, um, them only being capable of going fast in a straight line, that that's what I will experience. 
However, I've been proven wrong twice now. The SXT was phenomenal. You know, and now I'm going in this, and I'm like, yeah, this is holding really, really well. I mean, it transitions well. It's light. Well, it feels light. I mean, obviously, it's massive. I mean, anything that's going to be 700 horsepower is just a machine. Just an absolute monster. But, you know, with a little bit of delicacy, I mean, it's not like I'm coming loose everywhere. I mean, the traction control's on, mind you, and I'm not turning it off. I'm going to let that traction control stay on for multiple reasons. One, I don't know this car that well. Two, I don't want to stack something that's not mine. So, you know, I am on public roads. This is not a racetrack. And while we do drive in a spirited fashion, and um, we do enjoy cars for what they are, and that's, you know, the road weapons they can be, you know, we definitely want to be a little bit responsible. I like the steering wheel shape. I like that it's a little larger, you know, and it kind of adds to that theater, you know, because an American muscle car is just theater. I mean, it, I mean, obviously it's performance based, but when you get an American muscle car, you expect some theater. You expect it to be brash and bold and angry and oh, mouthy even. Well, she's doing all of that and more. She's able to do that and plus communicate that to the road. So, and we haven't left its regular function yet. We haven't put it in sport. We haven't checked that feature yet, but we're gonna, because we should. I mean, really, that's the case. I mean, the reality is, is this is really good. You know, and as long as you're, and you should really be doing this when you're driving in general, you should be consistent on the throttle, right? So you don't want to give the, uh, the vehicle abrupt inputs. And I want to believe you guys can see that. I mean, what's occurring is, is I'm transitioning rather quickly. And in that, you know, that requires some focus on my part. So, you know, if you're here, if you're like, why, Jason, why is Jason stuttering? Well, because it's good. It's really, really good. You know, so I'm just going to set my engine speed and braking here a little early. And then I'm going to push through. Yeah. Yeah, she holds. This is really, really impressive. You know, what's most impressive to me is how drivable it is. It's not an animal, it's not, but it, it's it's not designed to be that way. Any driver can go in here, get in this vehicle, and ex have good experience. Now, I would caution though, if you're not careful with it, that it can hurt you and it can hurt you pretty badly. I mean, because I could see it getting away from you. I haven't had the rear companies yet, but if you were not delicate on the throttle, it would, it would come around. And honestly, if I was at a different place, a closed course, I'd be trying to bring that rear around. But we're not there, we're doing something different. And so, so final thoughts on the Dodge Challenger um, SRT, right? So, it's damn good. I mean, it's like really, really, really good. And you know what my favorite thing is about this? That I'm surprised. That's my favorite thing when driving cars, is walking away going, yeah, I didn't expect that, man, that was good. And I really like that, and I really like that about this car. So, you know, in, in the end, is, is she good? She's better than good. And I promise you, if you get in this vehicle, and you're like, no, it's too much, I'd be pretty surprised, because I think the engineering was designed to make it feel soft on unless you turn the brute on. But even with the brute, with some careful inputs, careful application of throttle, some gentle steering, and trying to dance, not muscle, through a corner or a set of, a series of corner, no, she's damn good. I, I would venture just to say that on the track, she would give many of her European counterparts a run for their money. So, 
thanks for watching Chasing the Apex, and uh, we'll see you next week. Actually, you're gonna see me again this time, this week, because we're gonna do a midweek release, special request, kind of a vlog thing. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching Chasing the Apex. Oh, and guys, I don't say this enough. Thank you for all of your support. I wanna say thanks again to YC Auto Group, Chris, Mustafa, Sheila, thank you for all your help. Thank you for hooking us up. Thank you for hooking the, hooking the viewers up and letting us see some cool stuff. I don't know where these guys get all these cool cars from. It's like they have the keys to the closet of cool things. But you guys really gotta check them out. Check out the link below. Again, thanks to Sheila, Chris, and Mustafa from YC Auto Group. Thank you guys for watching Chase Nate.